Hey, Charlie, what have you got? What have you got? You've got a stick there. Have you? Can I have that stick? Can I have that stick, Charlie? Can I have it? It's mine, I want that. I want that stick, child. Yeah, can I have it? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> well, hello, folks. So, uh, we're here in Tahiti Woods. Uh, haven't been down here for a while, actually. So, uh, we thought today we would come down and uh, exercise Mr. Charlie there, the TWEX Hound. And I know I've been in here quite a lot, I know. And, uh, oh, I've just found a nice uh, seat there, look, folks. So, uh, wow, that looks rather, rather cool. Looks like something that's been a bit improvised. But, uh, yeah, what I'll do then, I'll pop you down if I can and put you on the seat there. And because today I've picked up, sorry, there, an amazing piece of kit, folks. I picked up this uh, new MTP modern military windproof smock and it's pretty amazing folks it's uh, in brilliant condition and it came with some uh, military patches and stuff on it you've got these uh, velcro pads and stuff here but I, I took them off obviously for uh, you know because there's no point uh, wearing anything that you're not entitled to which is fine and Having never s properly served in the military, then uh, that's not fair enough. But it's brilliant, folks. It's got so much, po so many pockets on it. It's got uh, double zip as well, and underneath, I'm wearing the uh, extreme cold weather liner, which is brilliant. And I've been told they're a bit hard to get hold of at the moment. Uh, well, they have been. They've become a lot harder to get hold of, folks. So. Uh, worth snapping up a bargain when you find one so uh yeah so hope everybody's doing okay and now we've had a bit of recent news about something interesting that's been found down in the vicinity of RAF Portreef and not directly at RAF Portreef but uh it's the old WAF site now obviously in World War II then uh there was a large part of the camp that was outside of the perimeter of the airfield that was uh, where the technical site workshops and of course the Women's Royal Air Force were there as well and all the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, the WAFs and there was a large encampment there which well when I say an encampment it was uh, lots of Nissen huts and uh, facilities for them they were all living there in World War II and bit of controversy recently as well because apparently the site is now privately owned and they want to actually uh, build houses folks yes they want to build houses down there which is not brilliant uh, but you know it's obviously lots of history but uh, it's come to light on the recent news media that the local news media that they've discovered uh, an unseen air raid shelter down there and uh, not actually too sure about what that's like to get to but uh, I'm hoping that you know we may be able to squeeze in and look at it but uh, what I think what I might do is just uh, go down there later on folks and see if I can uh, see anything or find out the relative location of where it is anyway but we're in the woods we've got Charlie the dog and uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful day. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, anybody down here in Cornwall, I'm sure you've noticed it, is in the last few days, the temperature has been dropping away quite rapidly. And I think we're only managed to get up to about 12 degrees today. And that's uh, a bit of a difference between our usual 17, 18, and it's even been as high as 20 degrees recently, folks. So definitely cooled down a bit. And we're going into this shaded area here, folks. And yeah, no, obviously I've had a bad back recently, and I'm thank glad to say that for now that's kind of like eased off, which is great. And I'm looking forward to getting back into doing stuff. And 
Charlie down there is, uh, I think it's a squirrel. Yeah, it's a squirrel, folks. There's uh, tons of squirrels in the woods here. Mm. Charlie's very good at finding them. Did you get one, Charlie? Hey, eh? did you find it? <laughs> yeah, so even Charlie's got his jacket on today because it's uh, it is getting a bit chilly, folks. And uh, you know, there's not really uh, a lot we can do about that. And after all, it is October, isn't it? So uh, I've got the woolly hat out now and got this fabulous new jacket, which is great. And I'm absolutely loving it, folks. It's uh, now obviously with some of the military kit and stuff I've always been a fan of the old uh, DPM uh, camouflage uniform which uh, I kind of like was wearing a bit when I was a youngster and the cadets and stuff and you know but until now I've not actually tried out this, this is what they call multi-terrain pattern camouflage so uh, we'll give it a go and we'll see what's what